you guys welcome back to today's lesson on revit in today's lesson i'm going to teach us how to export our revit model down to eTabs for analysis okay so the first thing we do is go to add-ins now before we go to add-ins let me try and explain some other things for example we have in inserts you can link a revit file you can link ifc file card file dwf file topography and all these other files but for us to import sorry to post to export to revit we need to go to add-ins then external tools so select it now so we are creating a new etab or save file so select this and what we've modeled so you can select this so you can export to etabs version 17 or this or earlier you can select this also and click ok so it's working you can see them they are being processed they are being processed now so it's done already now please okay so we choose a location we want and the name we want so the it's going to be saved at dot exr file so we save yes so there's a warning please check log file for details okay so we'll check that later so you can still see it in 3d to make sure what we are importing in revit is going to be the same thing without any tabs so realistic view okay so it takes a little while for it to yes okay so that is lesson we are going to be importing our files from revit down to etabs so go to file go to imports now we saved it as an .exr file so select this now go to where you saved your work so go to desktop training g plus five and you can see dot exr so you select this and you open so it's telling you now total materials there's a warning and everything you can decide to edit it if you want you can see the default flow you can decide to change this if you want but you'll change it later during the course of the video so you can see all this minimum covalence maximum but we're not interested so you just click ok and import so there are four warnings so save it what you want to save this is it so now it saves as dot edb so you click save okay. okay now we can see the reason why this is here is because we didn't center when we're starting our job on um revit we didn't start from the origin but this doesn't really matter it doesn't matter in any way so we can see it in 3d view this is our structure in 3d so we don't really need this because this is seeing it as a wall but we don't need this so we can decide to delete it because it's not structural for us so i go back to plan i'm going to base apply click this okay so select it select select sir select and delete so i have my delete you can press delete on your keyboard select this also delete so i can decide to highlight it and deselect so come to select deselect object type column so select this deselect column and delete okay so i can decide to go down to the base and this is my support my base level so back to 3d we have the first floor second floor third floor fourth floor and the roof so in the next video we are going to be talking about load application